What is good, Grey Gang? We're here today. We have a hammock set up and everything. And believe it or not, we have another box. And we're going to do it just like last time. We're going to open it up in the hammock. But first, as y'all know, I've got to get in the hammock. And that may not be too easy. But anyways, here we go. I mean, it's a little bit higher than last time. We'll say that. It's a little bit higher, but take my shoes off and just... Oh, okay. Okay, that works. We're good for now. Okay, Greg Gang, so the box we're going to be opening, this is the July's Mystery Tackle Box. We're going to go through it real quick and see what we got. First thing, a locker hunt, a frog. Next up, spinnerbait, double wheel lift blade. Then we have these things. They're basically like little flukes, but they stink very bad. Then boom, we have this. It's a popper. Then we've got this thing. They're like little crawdads. Except they don't look like crawdads. And then there's these things. They're like little tadpoles. And then we got this thing. It's, it's, it's a fish. And then these things, they look like giant locusts. And then my favorite part, we got a sticker that looks like my shirt. Can y'all see the resemblance? Oh my gosh, it's 100 degrees out here. Me yelling probably doesn't help. Ugh. This hammock needs an air conditioner. And it needs one fast. Now, Grey Gang, the next thing I'm about to tell you is pretty important. So I got an email, and, uh, well, it's from KVD, okay? You know, this guy. Yeah, he sent me an email, and he wanted me to forward it on to you guys, the Grey Gang. So I'm not gonna waste any time here. Here's the clip that he sent me. What's good? Grey Gang. Sorry to interrupt the other KVD here with a quick announcement. And then I'll jump you right back up to Future Kindle. So check it out. Mystery Tackle Box has a new website, shopcarls.com, where you can come to my online store, Carl's Bait and Tackle. Now this is a lot like your favorite local tackle shop, except it's online, so you can carry it on your phone or your computer, and you can get all of your fishing essentials here. We'll carry plenty of products you've already seen, and we're gonna bring you new products every month. And here's the best part. We've got a members-only club where you can get 30% off everything on the site, plus free shipping for orders over $25. We got a sweepstakes going on right now. You can check out the details in the link below. Thanks for listening, Greg Gang. I'll see you over at Shop Carl's I'm gonna be honest guys ever since I first started bass fishing like five years ago I always dreamed about the time that KVD would know my name but that I'll take it guys that's close enough I don't even care I'll take it I mean look at me now I'm in the middle of the forest in a hammock I mean hey that's good enough for me but enough of this emotional stuff did you hear Carl said there's free money involved are you kidding me guys he said they was $500 on the line and you already know it guys whenever there's free money involved the gray gang is interested but like KVD said the first link in the description is how you can enter a sweepstakes slash giveaway thing free to enter all you gotta do is like go down and type in your email it's like super easy i've already done it you already know that boy i'm about to get that money and also while you're at it if you want to go ahead and join carl's club like listen to this guys so you know my mom she has a sam's club card and it's basically exactly like that except for cool people who fish okay let's just be honest you can go over to carl's club i'm in carl's club my mommy's in sam's club i'm in carl's club sam and carl they know each other i think maybe Probably not. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But with Carl's Club, you buy a membership and then they give you amazing, like, a big percentage off retail stuff. But instead of going to your local Bass Pro Shops or Cabela's, you join Carl's Club, have them shipped to you for free, and you get a pretty big discount on everything on the website. So that way, instead of paying $6 for a pack of Carl's, you could pay like $4.50 or something. Or maybe even less. I'm not exactly sure. I know there's a good deal on merch, because I've done got some. It's on its way right now. But maybe if you don't want to sign up for Carl's Club today, go on down, enter the sweepstakes. That way, at least you can get some of that free money. And because KVD sent that to me, no, not that KB. The other K, yeah, that one. Because he sent that to me, I'm like, let's go fishing, boys. And let's use the mystery tackle box. I'm thinking the spinnerbait. Because, well, you know, thunder is coming in again. It's about to start raining again. And the spinnerbait is about to catch some bass again. And if, boys, if I flipped out of this, I quit. If I flip out of this, if I, if, no! I quit. After I go fishing, I will quit. Not yet. You have got to be kidding me every time. Uh, guys, I'm out here at the pond. Sycamores are doubling over everywhere. And that, that is coming straight towards me. Can you guys see that? That thing's black. That's a, uh, that's a hurricane, I think. Look at the water. We got good ripples on the water, which will make this spinnerbait work that much better. We do have a ginormous thunderstorm, and I'm not kidding, guys. That is a big one. It's very mean, and it's aggressive. Uh-oh, there's lightning. I think somebody stole his honey bun. 
and he's gonna take it out on me. But guess what? I don't really care. My house is about 20 seconds away, so if it starts raining, I don't really care. I'll just walk back. It's not gonna be a big deal. But guys, here we go. As you can see, a lot of ripples on the water. The wind's blowing really hard, which is great for a spinnerbait. And we're about to show this thunderstorm. I don't care who stole his honey bun, because it wasn't me. I promise. I promise. It was not me. It wasn't. I'm sorry. I know y'all can't hear this on the on the audio, but literally all these trees behind me, it's nothing but wind going through them and like really fast too. This is hard wind. Every bit of 20 miles an hour, guys. I'm sure you can hear it now. But here we go. Hopefully we can get a good bass to bite. I think we can because well, it's really good conditions. Oh, I just had a bite. I just had a bite. I'm not even kidding, guys. I just had a bite on my spinnerbait. This is great. This is great. I definitely think we can try to get one today. It's a good day. It's really windy. Real windy, guys. No doubt about that. Oh, 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 five pounder, five pounder, five pounder. Get in here. Get in the boat. Eat that. Eat that. We're going to name you Thor because it's thundering outside. Ah! Okay, guys, I want to say one thing. I'm sorry for overreacting. That guy's not five pounds. He's a solid two and a half, though. An entire half the size of what I originally said. But here comes a car going to dump him in like that. That way nobody sees. And let's get back out there, son. That was th that was my third cast. He destroyed the spinnerbait. He, I got to straighten out the blades now. Man, that was good. That was good, guys. I've not caught a bass in a long time. Sort of. Ah, uh, that's what you get whenever KVD knows your name, boys. It's an automatic plus five on your fish catching abilities. And a plus two on speed, but that's not really much because I'm already 99 overall, if you know what I mean. See if we can get another one. That was a tank, guys. I watched him bite it. Okay, so it is actually the next day. I'm inside editing this video right now, and there's one thing I forgot to say, and that is hit the like button if you're liking the video so far, and if you're not subscribed already, subscribe. That way you'll be updated with more content just like this. But for real, guys, go on down and hit the like button if you like the video. Please. I need all the help I can get. Just a little quick tip. If the wind is blowing, hey, oh my. Oh, oh, I got another one. I got another one. This is insane. I've never caught this many bass out of this pond. Oh, oh, get up here. What is your name? We're going to name this guy Ant-Man. I got one. Oh, man, he broke my spinnerbait. No, he didn't. But like I was saying, guys, quick tip. If the wind is blowing, throw a stinking spinnerbait. That is what they're made for. He's a solid one in 7.5 ounces, something like that. I don't know. He did. He almost destroyed my spinnerbait. Which this is a light wire spinnerbait. With light wire spinnerbait, they're not as durable. They're not gonna last as long, but the action you're gonna get is a whole lot better. The blades are gonna vibrate a whole lot more. And generally they'll catch a lot more fish. They just won't last as long. But that's fine with me. I mean, I'll I'll I've spent a whole lot more than one spinnerbait trying to catch fish and not done it. Let's go down here. Okay. The rain has started, but I think we can still catch more. They're feeding right now. They know the storm's coming. I do too because I have eyes. But me and the fish, you know, we're both on the same page. Thunder incoming. Thor has awakened. Okay, guys, the rain is here. I gotta go. See ya. fall on me that was supposed to be holding me up in my hammock it obviously didn't work like for real what in the world just happened the the tree's got leaves growing on it but it's dead like that literally doesn't make any sense i mean i guess i'll just move the tree and try again i don't know let me get in here first Ugh. Sup, Grey Gang? So as y'all know, I just got back from fishing. I got a new shirt on. It's actually a new day, but I just want to say something to y'all. The people who's going to watch this long into a video that is titled, I Caught Thor, like, I'm just going to be honest, guys. If I got some people out there who's going to watch this video, it's the true Grey Gangsters, which is why I want to talk about this. Now, I'm not going to talk about my hammock, but I will say this is probably one of the top five purchases of 2018, and it's right up there beside a pack of babies. But I actually got a situation. Okay, so about a week ago, I went to the movie theater. I wanted to watch you know jurassic world fallen kingdom if y'all been watching my vlogs closely you'll know that i am a big fan of jurassic park but in the movies before the movies start i met this squad of two boys and you already know it they were gray gangsters so i asked them i was like what's your favorite video what kind of video should i film tomorrow and they's like kendall man i like all your videos but honestly just go out there and do whatever you want 
hit me deep, guys. Hit me deep. They were like, if you want to go swing around in your hammock, go swing around in your hammock. If you want to go catch bass, go catch bass. But at the same time, if you just want to go out and throw sticks at stuff, go throw sticks at stuff. So then I was kind of joking around at this point. I was like, so should I go home and should I do a Jurassic World movie review? And they were like, dude, that would be awesome. So guys, welcome to Kendall's Movie Reviews. So today we are going to be reviewing Jurassic World. No spoilers, just in case you haven't seen it yet. But I am going to tell you a little bit about my thoughts for Jurassic World. Now be honest guys, going into the movie, I was hyped. I even bought a shirt. This shirt to be exact. Kind of fanboyed on that one. I got on Amazon two days before I went and watched the movie. But that's beside the point. I went into the movie. I was excited. Now I'm not going to tell you what happens in the movie. A lot of you guys have probably done saw it, but a lot of you haven't. So I'm not going to spoil anything because spoiled eggs are bad. I go into the movie. I watched the movie. To be honest, guys, once the movie was over, I didn't exactly like it. It didn't live up to the expectations of me. I figured out my problem the day after. I went into Jurassic World expecting it to be a Jurassic Park sequel expecting it to you know be another jurassic park but that was my problem this new movie fallen kingdom it is not jurassic park it is jurassic world and i know that sounds kind of silly but it's true guys it's almost a completely different type of movie sort of sort of like i would say that the past jurassic parks were action movies i would say that this one is a mix between action movies and a a scary movie and I'll be I'll be honest I was like this at times I didn't want to see what was happening I was scared to death which it does have a new director which makes scary movies so it makes sense you know originally it was a six out of ten the day after give me some time to think about it and a bad dream of course now it's a ten out of ten do y'all ever do that every time I watch a semi scary movie I have a dream about it and it is not a fun dream either every single time I watch any Jurassic Park the same thing happens in my dream. And it's not a lucid dream. I can't control it. But most of the time, I end up dead. Or almost dead. Or watching someone become dead. If that makes any sense at all. But if you've not saw Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, I, here's a tip for you. Don't go into the movie expecting it to be a Jurassic Park. Go into the movie expecting it to be something completely different. Because it is. It is Jurassic World. An entire new movie. So that's it, folks for Kindle's movie reviews. And now I'm sitting here thinking how we've came a long way from trapping fox, guys. We went from doing wacky worm tutorials to fox trapping, and now we're doing a movie review on Jurassic World. Tell me what's next, guys. Tell me what's next. <laughs> and now, before I leave y'all out, I want you true great gangsters to go down and comment if you made it this far in the video. Comment what dinosaur am I most like? Now, I know that's kind of a weird question, but you guys understand it. Nothing makes sense here. So go down in the comments, comment what dinosaur is Kendall Gray most like, and if you see somebody else that's commented the same thing as you, hit the like button on their comment to upvote them, I guess. Show some love. And besides that, Gray Gang, I'm signing you out with my croc, and uh, stay tuned for more car reviews slash movie reviews, I guess. Oh, I can't hit it. And there we go. Thanks for watching Kendall Gray's video, and as always, keep God in your mind and keep subscribing. Bye.